Welcome back to video two of the onion rings. Okay, I've already fried a lot, but I'm gonna show you. So, I've got my onion rings here, and we're just gonna deep fry. So I take one out, shake, and lex this off back in the little bowl. My uh, oil's up to 350 degrees, and I'm hot for frying. So like the end pieces or the inside pieces. Okay. Kind of bring you up. Well, bring you up a little bit so you can see. Try to do it that one hand. Kind of get them frying, and it only takes them like a minute or two. Sometimes three. Depends on how big your onion ring is and how thick your onion is. So you won't let them do that. What I've already done is I already got a plate with some of these babies on there. What if you can see? So I'm going to pull one up and show you. Look how nice and golden brown it is. Well, when you take them out, drain off the excess of the oil. And when you put them on a plate, line with a pepper towel. Um, sprinkle some salt over the top. They need it, okay? Look how yummy them look. And then I've got my other plate here still. I'm going to continue this batch and put on that. So let me turn you back to the pot so you can see. See, they're already starting to get golden brown. I kind of come in here and kind of move them around a little bit so they won't stick to each other. See how nice and golden brown they're getting? Now, sometimes the coating just comes off a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, it's all right. At least you got a little bit of coating on them. Remember, these are homemade. These ain't uh, factory made. Tell them it's going to look kind of rustic homemade. I need rings. Usually when you do fry fish, because I already fried fish too in this oil, and I came back to the onion rings to show you, I won't use this uh, oil no longer. So it's cooled and it's going to go in a pickle jar, old mayonnaise jar I save, um, old Folger, Folger's coffee can, duct tape the lid on, and put it in the trash. But if I'm saving my oil, then I strain it, double strain it, so it gets all the little particles out. And so, say I want to fry again, and I didn't do onion rings or, or fish, okay? Then I would let it cool completely, then put it in a container, and then store it in the fridge until I'm ready to fry again. So that way you don't waste your oil. So, usually when I fry, I've been frying some. Then the last time I fry, we'll do fish and onion rings or something like that. That's going to leave a taste to the oil. 
because then you don't want to fry like say maybe you're making beignets or something like that you don't want that onion or fish taste in them so these are done take these out put them on the plate Particles is what you know from the coating that shakes off a little bit. So, I hope you try this recipe. Whoops, I left one in there. I hope you try this recipe and tell me what you think. Um, I haven't tried these how to bake these yet or put them. In the air fryer and spritz them with a get one of them spritzer that you put oil and spritz <clears throat> i haven't tried it yet but i think it'll work so i hope you enjoy this recipe see you in the next video sippy sarah bye everybody